in the previous episode, we've talked about emotions. And in this episode, we want to talk about the experience of boredom and what it is and what we can do about it. So boredom is actually a pretty common experience that most of us have experienced before. Um, it happens when a task is unsatisfying or uninteresting, too easy, too hard. And it can happen if we have a lot of energy and we don't know where to put it. So it's that sense of emptiness with a mix of frustration um, that defines what boredom is and this might look like we can't focus on anything or that we're nervous or jittery. So boredom on its own is a normal experience uh, that we'll go through at some point but it can actually be beneficial for us to realign us uh, towards the activities that are good for us and to help us make us grow. So let's say for example we've been watching TV for a while and then we start feeling bored then this is a signal that it's time to switch it up and do something different. Or maybe it's been uh, a while that we're playing a specific sport with our friends and we've been enjoying it, but lately it's just, it feels boring. So it might mean that it's become too easy and it's time to uh, join a serious team, or it might just mean that we need to find a new hobby. Or it can be actually um, applied for stuff that we find a bit too hard. So maybe we want to tackle playing a new instrument and we've registered for a course, but the course is too hard and we don't seem to be um, growing and learning. So we might feel stuck and become bored. So it just means that we need maybe to find a new instrument or just find an easier course. So if you think about it, boredom can actually realign us with our goals, make us grow, bring us closer to where we want to be, to what we like. So taking time to think about what boredom is telling us and feeling that boredom is gonna get us to explore more things and is ultimately beneficial. However, if we experience boredom or a lack of interest in activities on a daily basis, this might be a sign of mental health struggle. It could be a sign of depression, but it's usually accompanied with other things like sleep disturbance or eating too much or not eating, um, a lack of motivation and a lot of things. So. If that happens, if you experience boredom on a daily basis, then it's a good idea to check with a mental health professional to see if there isn't an underlying mental illness that comes with that. But how can we prevent boredom? So for the big tasks that seem very difficult and it might seem that you're gonna be bored, try to break them down into easier tasks and even reward yourself after finishing one task. So let's say you have a final and you have 10 chapters to study for and it might seem like it's gonna be overwhelming and boring. Um, try to reward yourself after one chapter and break it down in one chapter per day, for example. There are other tasks that are boring and <laughs> but they are essential. So this is obviously different for everyone. Um, I don't like to do the dishes, maybe Nada likes to do the dishes, but for me, a, a good way to go through those essential but boring tasks is to incorporate a fun element to it. So that could be listening to an audiobook or music just to get you going with that um, boring task. Also have a list of th fun things to do whenever you feel bored. That way you can um, refer to it if needed. And finally, try new and challenging things. So this could be very simple as trying a different route to go to school rather than your usual one so you're not bored and you kind of break that routine. And novelty and growth will keep you entertained and give you a sense of accomplishment. So these are the ways to prevent boredom. Oftentimes we may feel bored during liturgy or when reading the Bible or attending church services. The easy way out is to stop, but that does not mean that we should. Um, spiritual growth, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So even though you're experiencing some sort of boredom, it doesn't mean that what you're doing is necessarily wrong. But perhaps you can help yourself by 
finding a friend to go to liturgy with or joining um, a Bible study group so that you're not alone uh, while reading the Bible. Or you could learn about the significance of church, uh, church services or church traditions, um, if that's what's interesting to you. Um, you could try to attend a social, athletic, intellectually stimulating uh, um, groups of some sorts or anything that sort of caters to your interests while still being Christ-centered. It's very important to not just give up on things like having communion because you don't feel like it's an interest for you. These are things that are essential for your salvation. So what can we do when we're bored? So as we've seen with emotions, we try to validate that experience. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing with boredom. We're gonna say, hey, I feel bored. And don't try to question whether or not it's okay to be bored. So try to ask yourself some questions to understand your boredom a little bit better. So for example, ask yourself, what specifically in that task that I'm doing is making me feel bored? And then is there something I can do to make that task a little bit more interesting for me? And ask yourself if you're truly bored or if there is an underlying emotion there. So taking that time to reflect as well with boredom as we did with emotions is gonna be essential. And finally, just try to put things into perspective. Boredom is temporary, like we've seen with emotions. Um, so it's not gonna last forever. You're gonna be bored for a little bit and then that elevation of frustration will go away once you change a task or once you find something uh, that's more interesting to you. In Exodus chapter 32, Moses had just led the Israelites outside of Egypt where they were enslaved. So the Israelites had witnessed many miracles such as manna coming down from heaven, um, water coming out of rocks and so on. And uh, after they were finally led out of Egypt, uh, he went, Moses, up on a mountain to receive uh, the commandments from God. Although they witnessed many, many miracles, the Israelites got bored waiting for Moses at the foot of the mountain. They decided to create for themselves a God, so they made a golden calf and danced and worshipped around this golden calf. So when faced with boredom, don't hide from God, don't turn away, don't try to find yourself some other way to entertain. Instead, know that it's normal and pray to God that he keeps you focused on him and puts your time to good use and fills your life with purpose. Stagnation happens to everyone, but it's not an excuse to leave God just for that. We may feel like we're not uh, particularly advancing spiritually, or we may feel like we're not uh, growing closer to God in any way, but just know that this is normal and that it will pass. Just keep praying and wait on the Lord. We'll leave you with this. Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait on the Lord.